Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Pep. You're watching The Sentinel. Today I have a review of this guy. Nino Ceruti, 1881 for men. Okay, straight off the bat, this fragrance from Nino Ceruti has been uh, around since 1990. This bottle that I own, uh, according to the batch code, is a 2015 bottle and obviously the review will be based on this bottle. I have no idea what vintage uh, Ceruti 1881 for men smells like, if, if it's any different to this one. But I can tell you that for a very, very inexpensive and still very easily accessible fragrance, albeit a very masculine one, this is fantastic hidden gem type quality here. Uh, and I'm so pleased I gave it a shot. This was a blind buy. Um, and purely because I think I had seen a couple of review positive reviews about it and because it was so cheap I didn't think I had much to lose um, well to be precise $40 uh, and I'm glad I took the plunge in fact uh, a little story my original bottle actually got stolen believe it or not um, and so I, I found another one and replaced it and it smelled exactly the same I don't know what year that first bottle was, but it, this one is no different to it. So from the beginning, I want to say this is not a unique original fragrance, okay? This is an aromatic fougere, 1990. It's pretty old school. It's a nice masculine barbershop style fragrance, but it works. Um, and I have a couple of different uh, fougere style fragrances in my collection this is different enough to keep and certainly great great value opening um, I'll just spray it on I've got the dry down going on this arm and I'm gonna do the opening here good sprayer actually these are these are actually really nice uh, bottles for you know the, the price that you pay for them okay so as you probably would expect I get uh, in the opening quite a bit of lavender mixed, with, mixed in with other florals, okay? So it's actually quite a floral opening and it's not too spicy and not too, um, not too green, not too sharply green. It's actually quite a, quite a lovely opening and it's not, um, not too in your face uh, either like um, other masculine uh, fragrances from that era could be just on on that note uh, sorry the perfumer credited with this fragrance is Martin Grass and a couple of notable fragrances that he's responsible for uh, Ted Lapidus Port Homme and Vivian Westwood's Boudoir so this is a nice, it's, it's actually a nice um, light aromatic floral opening. I'm not sure what the florals are being used. Definitely I can pick up lavender and there's this kind of like um, sharp greenness um, holding that up. After, after about 15 minutes heading into um, more of the, of the mid to heart notes, it actually begins to get quite uh, green, so uh, so the, those florals sort of dissipate a little bit, and you get um, more of more of pine, and probably this um, uh, this kind of bitterness. I know there's juniper um, in here, um, and it's kind of that kind of thing, but it's it's never it's never too much. There's also I detect a, a, a touch of um, galbanum in here, and usually in large doses, I don't I don't like that particular note on my skin. It just really goes um, quite bitter on my skin and hard to and hard to smell, to be honest, on my skin. 
Uh, but here it's it's a lovely balance of greens, um, so nice sharp greens. And then what what I really like about this fragrance is that the, the heart notes actually um, it's a slow transition to the dry down. So you after that greenness, it starts to get more uh, floral. Um, I, det I definitely detect. Um, some nice rose in there and it's just really well blended when you finally do get to the dry down it's it's this actual nice uh, creamy blend of sandalwood it's a little bit of clean musks in there um, patchouli and a bit of earthy vetiver so it's really nicely blended this fragrance I'm, I'm um, I can't tell you enough how impressed I am with the quality of this considering how much this actually costs. Uh, the only thing is, again, it's not a unique fragrance. Um, you know, there are a lot of fougeres, a lot of aromatic fougeres out there, but one for really good value, um, a lovely looking bottle. Uh, it's Nino Ceruti 1881. This, this actually performs really well. I get about, I get easily, you know, a few hours of good projection from it. Uh, and, and when I say that, I mean, I don't need to try and smell it on my skin. It comes up to my nose. It's probably, you know, a few feet of projection. Uh, this lasts a good 10 hours. It's actually great in uh, warmer weather um, because there aren't there aren't a lot of those heavier notes that um, can make this a bit too heavy for hot weather. Everything stays light and green, uh, and it's it's actually quite a refreshing fragrance to wear. And I can't recommend it enough. So if you see this uh, and you're able to try it, obviously try it. But uh, this can be had at a very good price and. Uh, gents uh, because I think this is very masculine fragrance and if you're a woman who likes this that's great but um, this definitely leans well it's definitely a masculine for mine I hope you enjoyed that review and I'll see you soon